we're ready for some practice problems. So here's some examples where I say find the mass of, and this should say 0.15 moles of argon or 1.1 moles of calcium hydroxide. When I say find the mass, what do I mean by mass? I mean I want the grams. I'm giving you the moles so we know this. We can solve for the grams if we know the molecular weight. Argon is simply AR. When I find it on the periodic table, it's 39.9, but I round to the nearest whole number, so I'm going to use a molecular weight of 40. Moles times molecular weight, 0.15 times 40 gives me a nice even 6 grams. Second problem involves a compound instead. 1.1 moles of calcium hydroxide. First, I need to correctly write the formula for calcium hydroxide. Finding calcium on the periodic table, it has a plus two charge. Hydroxide is one of your polyatomic ions that has a minus one charge. When I put these two together, the correct way to write the formula is CaOH2. And those parentheses really matter here because when I'm finding the molecular weight, this two is going to apply to oxygen as well as hydrogen. The molecular weight of calcium is 40. I have two oxygens. Each oxygen is 16. And I have two hydrogens. Each hydrogen is 1. Adding 40 plus 32 plus 2 gives me a total of 74. Now that I have my moles and my molecular weight, I can plug each of these in and solve for the grams. So grams will equal 1.1 moles times the molecular weight of 74, giving me 81.4 grams. Our next example, number two, is going to look at the reverse problem where you're given the grams and you solve for the moles. Now I'm going to be looking for moles when I already know the grams. I'm going to be using the same formula, only difference is now my unknown is going to be here. A, 9.5 grams of copper chloride. I need to find the molecular weight of copper chloride. Copper is 63.5. Two chlorines. Each chlorine is 35.5. Remember, these are the two that we use, the 0.5. Giving us a total of 134.5. Now, I can plug in the grams. I'm solving for the moles. Molecular weight, 134.5. If I want to get moles alone, I need to divide both sides by 134.5. 9.5 divided by 134.5 gives me 0.071 moles. Typically with moles, we ask you to go to three decimal places. Second problem, 12 grams of water. 12 is my mole, I'm sorry, 12 is my grams. I'm solving for my moles. I'll need to plug in the molecular weight of water. As you know, water is H2O. Its molecular weight is two hydrogens plus one oxygen, 18. Dividing both sides by 18, 12 over 18 is 0.667, giving us 0.667 moles of water. All right, you have a couple for you to try.